one the texture of our hair doesn't we don't like it i think there's some things i can't get with my natural hair as in some textures like long and straight i'm a hairdresser and um, the reason why i wear weaves and advise my customers to wear weaves is because obviously it protects you from damaging your hair i personally wear weave but it's not because i don't have hair it's because i want to protect my hair i wear weave because obviously it's longer and i like long hair yeah i feel like keep my natural hair because like it doesn't grow if I didn't put weave on so uh, I put a weave on to make it grow. I like the weave because it keeps me nice and warm and then it also helps my hair to grow, the afro hair to grow. And sometimes it's nice to protect your own hair and have a different hairstyle. Black girls may wear weave for the same reason that white girls wear extensions, just to feel nice I guess. About 13 maybe, 13, 14 I've been carrying weave for. I've been wearing weave since I was what, 16? I started wearing weave when I was like 14. From birth, I see my mom making her hair all the time. And so we weren't grown to get used to using our hair. I've always carried my hair like natural. Like um, I've always had afro-ish hair. Like it's quite big and fluffy and curly. Until I moved to the UK. So I started like, I relaxed my hair. Then I started putting extensions on it to make it a bit prettier and stylish I guess. I think um, weaves helps me to like protect my hair because um, due to the UK weather it's quite cold so it usually like breaks your hair so weave actually helps it like protects it and gives it this stylish kind of look and it makes you look like every everyone else like my friends and everybody so weave is actually good because uh, you can do any style with weave so you can dye it you can do whatever you want so that's why we weave. It's like a trend to be honest because my parents, my mom doesn't wear weave so I think it's what we see on TV, it's media, it's everything. You see um, celebrities wearing long weaves and you want to be like that. I don't usually keep count of the yearly payment of my hair but I think in a month I do my hair twice. I spend like 50 pounds doing my hair then the weave is about depends on the quality of weave you get so it's about like 200 or 100 and something pounds for weave so it depends if you want to look good definitely it's it's worth it but yeah i would say it's worth it because it's it makes you look good it makes you look beautiful so um i think it's quite worth it but yeah we just we i mean girls we we have to look nice for ourselves so we tend to spend how much money whatever money comes we black girls actually do have advantage towards wearing weaves because with weaves you can actually dye it you can do whatever you want to do with it without even like damaging your own real hair i don't think i can do without weaves it just helps it helps with your own hair like i wouldn't want to do certain things with my hair like i wouldn't want to dye my hair red but actually i have a weave that i'm gonna do right now that's red so it's it helps it helps to do different style it helps to do different colors and i don't know it's I don't think I can do it without weed, I'm sorry. <laughs> the question is, do you prefer women in the natural hair or extension? I, I'm not, I'm sure. You I, think I do. more beautiful yeah. to you. Yeah. You know, you can accept your woman wearing extension or the natural hair, but what is, what is your preference? If you could say, all right, darling. Um, I prefer this, what would you say? You see, you see, you I'm see. Not there, well, you see I love Caucasian hair. I love straight hair, soft curly hair, but I have to love my hair first. That's, that's the spirit. My, my view, my view on, on people wearing weave is that some people, if they, if they think that if they don't wear weave, they look good. They don't look good. And then, and then, and then you, you got the, you got the, you got the media, you got the media who is telling people that if you don't look like this kind of person, mm -hmm. yeah. you you don't look good. Exactly. You get me? That's the reason why those are people that's, wear weave. That's, that's psychologic weave. Yeah, but this, this psychological documentary I'm watching, right? Now, it takes on the way I'm talking. There's a lot of psychological in the sense that it makes you feel like you have to look Caucasian for you yeah. to be accepted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is, which is oh, wrong. Which is wrong. Yeah. But also, that, that's not true. Yeah, it but is. that's not true. But it's not true. It does. It does. It does. It might not even. Bridget, it is true. They might not say it in words. Yeah. But that's the image that they're putting across to people. Take for instance, if you look at the media when it comes to the fashion industry, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Women hairstyle. Magazine, you get right? the point. What, what do you see really? 
What you see is the Caucasian hairstyle. It's preferable. And it's yeah. portrayed as beauty. Yeah. Uh, exactly. So yeah. if you don't have that, you're yeah. pretty. It, it, it's happening. And, and what yeah. we have... You see, you see, I would say on that, because they are the ones that are, that are, that, that are doing this uh, publicity of these things. If we are doing it as well, we put our hair first, but we're not doing it. They're the ones doing it. No, but when we do it, we yeah. also portray black women with straight hair. You get a, a black woman model or whatever, you put a straight wig on her. You know, why not let her walk down that catwalk with her natural afro so she can be seen as beautiful as well? You know, put all these things That's together. because, I would say, we are not proud of our hair. They are proud of theirs. I would say that as well. Some, some ladies wear weave to take on a different image. Image. Yeah, and that is okay. It's only when you become dependent and on it. Yeah, yeah. when you become dependent yeah. on it, yeah. Then, then you get carried away. Yourself. That's when, yeah. that's when, yeah. that's when they're going around. Yeah. So, I mean, I know people, you know, back, I was working in a salon back home, and this lady, she's, her husband's never seen her natural hair. Mm -hmm. so so that's crazy. To the point where she, she came to the salon, and her husband happened to come surprisingly that day, and we had to finish her hair in the toilet. You see that? That now is is just... Yeah. That's what I said, yeah. I like to see my woman with a natural hair. So it's good I don't get scared in the morning. And you know, as for me, yeah, brush it, yeah, brush it. As for me, the whole thing hit me because I have three girls and I want them to be proud of who they are, love themselves for who they are, you know, and they see me with um, loads of different hairstyles, but at least they can see me being me for who I am and know that they too can be themselves. Especially in a, in a multicultural society like this, because it is an issue whether we want to address it or not. Black women preferring straighter or, or different yes than their own. Uh, I've been in the hair industry for about um, 28 years. Um, I'm an award winning stylist, I specialise in weaves, um, extensions, etc. etc. Hair weaves is made up by human hair and synthetic hair and if somebody wanted to have a weave, um, depending on the length of their hair they could either have a half weave or a full weave depending on their, their hair see how strong their hair is or the length of their hair You see, I like natural hair, do you know what I mean? But um, it's down to the person, individual person, how they feel If they don't want to put no chemicals through their hair they don't want to put no chemicals through their hair I just find it because it's easy and it's instant glamorous look straight away that's what I think personally. Uh, with their natural hair, uh, you've got to wash, blow dry, press and curl and it, sometimes it don't last because people think that they have to put too much oils in their hair for it to keep but really these days you don't really need to do that. I train a lot of people every single year. Um, it's a very, very good business to be into. Um, a lot more people are looking more after their hair. Um, it's just a great business to be in. An average time, professionally, when you get it done by me, uh, two hours to two and a half hours. It all depends on the quality of hair. You can buy cheap hair. Starts from synthetic hair. It's cheap. You can get like two bags of hair for like £20. <laughs> Long length. But it's synthetic and you can tell it's synthetic because you've got a certain sheen to the hair. And you can't put no heat, no straighteners, no tongs to synthetic hair. Or if you do, you're going to melt that hair. It's just going to melt around your straighteners. So that's why a lot of people are starting to use um, Brazilian hair. Um, it's not really from Brazil. Uh, the hair all comes from India, China, all them kind of places. But it's all about the quality of hair. I mean, you can buy cheap human hair, but it's not going to last. It's going to tangle on the bottom, on the ends. And then it's pointless keeping that hair because when they wash it themselves, the hair can like knot up into a big lock and then it takes a lot of time to take out. So that's why I always tell people to come into a salon to get it maintained and looked after. The reason why I love doing weaves is because it's an instant glam, like I said before. Um, somebody can come in really, really short hair, but as soon as they get that extension, they feel a hundred, they feel like a million dollars because they've got that glam hair, they feel confident with themselves, they can swing their hair, somebody can pull their hair, it's not going to come off. <laughs> it's going to stay on their head. I've my hair and uh, I feel really good. Thank you.